What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 137 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today well today we have a special episode, it's not your normal episode and part of me wanted to call this a 0.5 episode, you know half an episode but um, I don't know, I feel like this is something that we need, we need to do, we, it'd be wrong for me not to show you this because it's episode 137, today we have a double testimonial special, the first game we have is a Paul Smith testimonial against Liverpool. Um, so this should be a fun one. We have some former players joining us for the testimonial. If you don't know, a testimonial is a game in football that's played after a player's played for at least 10 years at a club normally. That's certainly the case in FM. And you're able to throw them kind of a little memorial game, I guess you could say, where they come and play. Some of their former teammates come and play. And actually, as you can see here, for today's game against uh, Liverpool, Enderson is back, Gia's back, Michel is back, Christian Mendes is back, Lorenko is back. I mean, he's awful now, isn't he? We tried to sign him last episode, the 34-year-old. And uh, Nick Austin has also agreed to make an appearance, so that's really cool. We also have a second testimonial this episode, and that is going to be the Bouchard one. So I thought we'd kind of do this double header. Um, it is obviously pre-season following last season's end-of-season live com. But no, I feel like it, it's nice here just to kind of bring on some of our former players, give them a chance to play. Smith's going to take the armband, of course. Anderson, Austin, Mendes in the team. Can we try and squeeze in some other players? We can play Lorenko the second at right pack. Uh, Jer, I kind of want Jer to play. Can we, We'll play Jer as a centre attack in mid. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, but no, we'll go through our former players and see what they're up to now. Because I kind of feel like that's an interesting point of this episode. So we've already looked at Lorenko, the Mozambican, getting on a bit. And, um, well, he's without a club at the moment. The other player we have here, Enderson, 32 years old now, the Brazilian, playing for Stad René. Of course, he left us a number of years ago now to go to Stad René. And actually, as you can see here, he's made himself a bit of a hero at the club, going into his eighth season there. So that's kind of cool to see him kind of sticking out at the club we sold him to. We, of course, have Christian Mendes, who was also... Uh, a player who we sold a little while ago now. We sold him to Arsenal. He actually recently moved from Arsenal to Stoke for £7.5 million. We had a 50% sell-on clause uh, in that deal, so we actually got about £3.5 million uh, as a result of his move, which was kind of nice. But he now plays for Stoke, Christian Mendes, 26 years old, the Colombian. Still looks like a, a pretty solid player, I think it's fair to say. Uh, centre attack in mid, we have the return of Jair, the Brazilian playing for Borussia Mönchengladbach, 29 years old, again another player who following leaving us has been really loyal to the team he's gone to, uh, of course he left Mönchengladbach, uh, well you can see here, uh, what year was it, 2017, uh, 27, 28, so that was what 7 or 8 years ago now for £10 million and well you can see here he's got double figure goals for the last four years so he's certainly been contributing for their team which is always good to see and of course last but not least of kind of the returning players we have Nick Austin playing up top the 24 year old um, left us for Hamilton Academical who of course got taken over by a sugar daddy if we look here you can see they actually won the league last year they finished fourth the two years previously and uh, well I think it's fair to say Nick Austin having the desired effect there at Hamilton uh, he has pretty much single handedly won them the SPL so anyway, those are our players, but before we get into this, the first testimonial, we need to quickly have a look at this guy, Paul Smith, the player we're here to celebrate. I mean, what a player, 30 years old now, been at the club since he was 18. Uh, of course, he's learning some new positions, he's learned to play as a striker, he's learning to play centre attack in mid for us. He's a bit like our Gareth Bale in a lot of ways, I feel like he's quite similar to Bale in terms of how he uh, plays, you know, very good when it comes to his physicals and speed, still fairly adequate defensively, can do a job for us, technically gifted. And um, yeah, he's just been a great player, hasn't he, for a number of years. If we just look at his achievements, he's won a lot of stuff over the years, it's fair to say. In terms of awards, again, there's there's a lot, there's a lot. Um, Footballer of the Year at Apex, he was in the World Team of the Year, of course, and he has been in the World Team of the Year for a number of years, which is really cool to see. Um, the He's not in the all-seasons yet, that's the dream, I think, to get him in the all-seasons team of, team of the year. But, um, you know, he's played left mid... For a number of years now, you know, the last five, six years, well, in the last six years, he's gotten it five times. So he really is a global superstar, and we're very lucky to have him. Either way, this is going to be the team we have. It's against Liverpool, as I said. Liverpool themselves have been a little bit of an interesting team um, over the course of this save. You can see that, really, they've, they've just kind of been a stable Premier League club. They did finish 16th and 15th. Uh, a few years in a row, or not a few years in a row, but within a few years, which is a little bit too close to the relegation zone for my liking. But uh, no, you can see they've kind of established, established themselves as a middle-of-the-road Premier League team. And uh, Zach Clough is their manager, which is kind of cool to see. 
Either way, let's just get into this game. We're going to see how our former players go on, of course, as I mentioned. That Bouchard testimonial also to come. I'm hoping that we'll have some different players come for that game as well. So we'll get kind of a, a variety of former players kind of coming and playing for us. So we have known condition, somewhat of a problem. First game of the season in terms of the preseason. Some players coming back with a, a lot of rustiness, I think it's fair to say. So we'll see how we get on here anyway. It's a fun game. It's a time for a party. I've got this image of outside the space park. There's like a big statue of Paul Smith and Bouchard alongside each other. They've got some fairground rides. There's, you know, infinite hot dog stalls around the stand. It's, it's a carnival atmosphere to celebrate um, a player who's been at the club a number of years and really has done a lot for us. I feel like we should highlight him. I feel like that is the thing to do here. Paul Smith, get in the box. Get get in the mixer. Jez there. Oh, he's offside. He's offside. I was almost on the pitch. Let's get rid of the latest scores. We don't need to see them. Right, Young collects it. Very nice by him. Smith, I should really play Smith as a striker, shouldn't I? The more I think about it, the more I'm thinking, should we just play him as a deep lying forward and then give Palermo the permission to go forward on the attack? Let's do, let's do that. We'll play Paul Smith as a complete forward on attack off Nick Austin. It's kind of cool to see all our former players. Oh my gosh, Smith almost scored and we almost missed it. That's embarrassing. Um, missing, <laughs> missing in your own testimonial. You better get at least one goal or I'm going to be really annoyed. Either way, we'll see what he can do. Jair, build up play Henderson. Oh, it's all these former names. I'm getting a little bit emotional. I'm getting a little bit emotional, going to be honest. But um, no, Lorenko doing a job at right back for us as well. Not not his traditional position, but um, we'll see what he can do there. Don't let them score. We do want to win these games. I should point out, I do want to beat Liverpool um, if we can. That said, obviously, we are playing a bit of a... a, a Pick a mix team. It's it's like we've gone to the sweet store and we've just kind of grabbed a few of our former players and plopped them in our team. And um, I think it's fair to say we're not necessarily playing our best um, kind of tactic in the world. It's just kind of a, a tactic that suits the players who decided to turn up for today's kind of monumental occasion. Anyway, Anderson almost wins it there. Alejandro, Ali Andro gets away the ball. We'll get there eventually with that name. Lorenko put in a tackle. What a tackle! I mean, he didn't he didn't tackle him, Jack. Lorenko is unbelievably crap. I should point out, Durand, Young holds on to it. Very nice. That was a good chance to Liverpool, however. Get the ball up. Christian Mendes to Nick Austin. Can't get there. We've got some really fast strikers in uh, Austin and Smith for this game. Um, that should that should suit as well. Although we do still need to defend. Cross comes in. It hits the crossbar. I've never seen that happen before in Football Manager. What a, a weird occurrence. Oh, we're on the break. Go on, Paul. Hit it. Pull the trigger. Pull it. Oh, he pulled it back. I meant, uh, when I said pull it, I meant shoot. If he doesn't shoot, uh, scoring his testimonial, it's a bit of a fail, isn't it? We'll have to organise another one next year or something. Can a player have two testimonials? I feel like it must have happened at some point in real life. I just don't know about it. Either way, Smith, get the ball in. He, oh, okay, he shoots. He shoots. I mean, I assume that was a shot. It, all, it almost went in, to be fair. Ball up the pitch. Palermo wins it. To Jair. He's playing out of position at centre attacking mid, but we don't care. Nick Austin. Nick Austin scores. Paul Smith with the assist. I do wonder. It must be a bit of a weird atmosphere when uh, players like come back for a testimonial after they've left and kind of score. Like, to, Especially if they leave under bad kind of conditions. I, I guess there's not many players who would want to turn up for a testimonial if they left kind of under a dark cloud and kind of... We're slightly begrudged, I guess, by the fans. I don't feel like any of our players really have that. I feel like a lot of the players we've sold, we've sold because we wanted to sell them rather than because the player was desperate to move. Um, but no, 1-0. We're doing okay. Paul Smith with the assist. I want him to score, though. That's got to be the aim. The same with Bouchard. We might play Bouchard as a striker in the, the second testimonial. Anyway, let's just encourage the players. I'm happy with your performance so far. They are all absolutely loving it. And uh, I'm loving it too. It, it, it's a nice, fun atmosphere, as I said. And Paul Smith, he's on the attack. Okay, never mind. Why did I get excited about the, the highlight immediately from kickoff? That never leads to anything, Jack. Gerard, okay, they've now scored. Well, it's not ru they're ruining the party. They're ruining the party. We want to have the Paul Smith party. And, well, they're trying too hard. Liverpool whipping the ball here. Mickleborough crosses it in. And then Gerard, with a little glancing header, young... Leaps rather athletically. Can't get a fingertip on it to send it round the post. And, um, well, it, it, it's still 1-1. One, one. It's back to all being all square. I do wonder how much us playing our team kind of completely out position is perhaps handicapping us. Uh, Tavares bringing the ball forward now. Don't let him shoot. 
Young holds on to it. Right, I feel like we should change to the narrower system because I want to make some changes and I want to try and play players in the preferred formations and kind of positions. Um, we'll bring in Mini Mosca. We're going to take off Jer, I think. In fact, do we want to take off Jer? I don't know if we do. I, I still want to play Smith as a striker, don't I, really? Let's play him up top. I might take off Jer. Do I want to take... Yeah, we will, we will take off Jer. We'll bring on Joe Bouchard. For a game, of course, save, saving him for his testimonial. But we'll let him have a run out today, uh, just kind of behind Paul Smith and Nick Austin. It's like the old, the old team has got back together. It's kind of cool to see. But either way, let's see what we can do here. Mickleborough crossed his it in. It's headed away. Bouchard can almost get there. Enderson with an uncharacteristic tackle. Now Nick Austin. Paul Smith's on ahead. Give it to Paul. Feed Paul. Paul, shoot, please. He scores. He scores on his testimonial. As far as I'm concerned, we can lose now. I don't care. Paul Smith with a goal. Thank you to Paul. Can we get some hashtag thank you, Paul, in the chat? That, that's got to be something we do. And, of course, hashtag thank you, Joe, as well. You know, get those hashtag comments in on YouTube because we're hipsters. And hashtags are cool, right? Right? That's what all the cool kids do these days. I feel like really out of touch like an old person saying hipsters and cool kids. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut my gob now. I'm only 23. It's terrifying. I'm already getting past it either way. Um, it's 2-1. We're winning. I'm enjoying it. Let's just hopefully stop them scoring again. Someone. Stop them. Ball in. Mustafa clears it. I'm remembering now that we can do like infinite subs because it's a pre-season friendly. So I might even bring on Mosca <laughs> to try hard in replacement of kind of Nick Austin. Let's, let's do that now. I feel, I feel terrible kind of try-harding in this kind of game. We've got a few players struggling for fitness. I'm going to sub off my own players rather than the players I don't really care about because I, I don't really want to get any injuries if we can avoid it. We'll give Christoph Volsky, who we announced the signing of last episode, a little bit of a run out as well here, just for the last 20 minutes. Get them some match fitness. Mini Mosca wins that corner. Not the best set piece. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cool because we've now gone from having a team full of kind of former players playing to kind of the current squad playing. There's been this transformation throughout tactical changes where we've gone from old to new. And now I, I want I want Smith to score again, if I'm honest. He's highlighted so we can see him. Palermo, can he get on the end of that? He can. Well kept in. Back post cross. Mosca hits the, hits the crossbar from point blank. He really should be scoring there. Really should be scoring. Disappointing header. Ashcroft now bringing the ball forward for them. It's end-to-end -end stuff here. Volsky deals with it. Giganov. Feed Smith and he will score. Feed Smith. Mosca. Pass. Smith. Oh, well, that's lovely. You never see cutbacks in FM. But Mosca knows the, the significance of the occasion. He goes, Paul, I, w I want you to score. I want you to, you know, on, on your uh, testimonial, on your 12 years at the club with the captain's armband, I want you to smash it home. And he's done exactly that. 3-1. And that, that will be game over now for Liverpool. Can he get his hat-trick? I guess that's the new aim. Palermo. Get it in the box, Smith. Get it. Feed Smith. Just feed him. Palermo. Whip it in. Mosca's there. Bouchard. What was that? What What was that? That was awful. I was actually abysmal. There are, there are no words to describe that effort by Joe Bouchard. But he finishes 3-1 here in the first testimonial of today's episode. Uh, of course, we've got another one to get into. I want to get into it immediately. I'm looking forward to seeing what players decide to turn up for Joe's game. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, guys, we are back here for the second game of today's episode, the second testimonial for Joe Bouchard. And uh, today we're taking on Benfica. And the reason I tried to get the friendly against Benfica is because they're, well, they're simply put a team who we always seem to meet in Europe. I feel like we've probably met them a, a ludicrous number of times at this point. And, uh, well, it seems like a fitting way to celebrate Joe Bouchard's career. And um, one thing that's worth noting is he has new hair of late. Anyway, if we look at Joe Bouchard here, you can see he's now in his 12th year with the club and he's played 515 games. What, a, what an achievement that is. And I love some of these players who are back for today's game. Van Dijk is going to be making an appearance, of course, now of Ajax. We have Mulu, who's coming back. He was, of course, on loan at the club for two years. He's play, playing for Bournemouth's reserve teams. Uh, he's going to come and make a little bit of an appearance. Sergio Marquez, now of Barcelona, is going to come and make an appearance. Of course, a player who we uh, sold to Inter a number of years ago for £10 million. You can actually see at the end of his contract he elected to go to Barcelona. So we actually missed out on a sell-on clause with him. But a very good fullback and nice to see him turn up. And last but not least, I'm so happy about this one. Daniele Russo is back, ladies and gentlemen. Perhaps the greatest player ever to play for Gibraltar Apex. Certainly one of the best footballers in the world, if not the best footballer in the world. Valued at £17 million, playing for Real Madrid. 
He's he's just a bit ridiculous, isn't he? Really, as much as I want to make this all about Bouchard, I feel like it's difficult to ignore the fact that we've got this guy here. He's just a, he's an insane player. He's an absolutely ridiculous player. Um, is Daniele Russo, and to have him playing today is obviously really really nice. Anyway, in terms of our team for selection for today's game, it's going to be Russo and Van Dijk up front. Bouchard going to play a centre attack in mid role for us, and out on the right hand side we go with Sergio Marquez, of course, making that little bit of an appearance for us. So anyway, let's submit our team for today's kind of little testimonial game. Uh, apparently we are the favourites to win this game. And uh, I'm hoping that Daniele Russo is going to be a player who can carry us. And hopefully, just like Paul Smith did in that last game, Bouchard can get a goal or two to really mark the occasion. Either way, worth knowing player fitness. Somewhat improved compared to last game. Benfica, though, they are a tougher team than Liverpool. This is not going to be an easy match, but I'm hoping that with the addition of Russo, we have some significant firepower and can really make something happen. I will highlight number eight, Joe Bouchard. Russo, is he? Oh, okay. I thought he'd just been fouled and we were about to get a penalty in the first minute. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. The rest was still going for the uh, the offside. Anyway, we've got Bouchard highlighted now. Number eight, let's see what he can do for us. Ball out to Marquez. Whip the ball in. Goes to Gilvan. Options on ahead, goes to Cabasele, lay it off to Bouchard, just give it to Joe, give it to Joe. Russo, oh well Russo scored, I mean that's that's cool. Marquez and Russo linking up, two players who don't even play for us uh, being involved there, that's cool to see. Really delighted for them and uh, yeah, it was quite a nice little finish in the end. Marquez just whips the ball in from deep, the ball goes floating over to the back post and uh, Russo is there to just hit it home on the volley which was really nice. Right, more more of the same please boys, more of the same, Joe Bouchard to get a hat-trick, that's the dream, that is the dream right now, Marquez cuts it to Gilvan, Bouchard hits it, pull the trigger, lays it off to Marquez, nice build up play this, can we have the end product, not with passes like that we can't, although Marquez with another chance to maybe make something happen, Graffite, Marquez whips it in, Bouchard scores, after 11 minutes it's 2-0, we're having a party, we're on the beach, get the WKDs out, Marquez whips in the ball. I don't know what happened here. It's a, it's actually a misplaced tackle by Regis. And uh, Bouchard's just there to slot it home on that left peg of his into the bottom corner. And he is loving it. 2-0. Right, can we now defend this set piece? We might concede immediately here. Jo George Assad or Jorge Assad. Um, giving away the, 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 the penalty. Joaquin with a chance to now score. To, um, well, put the party on hold, I guess you could say. Benfica looking to make it 2-1. Can Ludwig Young... Work some of his magic. Can he make the save for us? He goes the right way. Unfortunately, he doesn't get across quick enough. The ball rockets in. And uh, it's it's 2-1 now. The party, I said, it's on ice. Get Put the drinks down, everyone. There's still a job to be done here. It's an interesting penalty. Rocketed into the top left corner. Don't think Ludwig Young can be held too much at blame for that. But either way, it's 2-1. It's We're doing okay. R Bouchard's got his goal, and that's all that really matters. Russo, can he get it in the box? Marquez... Can't get it in there. Assad, though, wins it. Cabasele, can we build again? Bouchard, pull the trigger. Lays off Russo. Russo scores. Bouchard with the assist. And uh, Daniele Russo, how much I'd love to re-sign that guy from Real Madrid. I'd love to, but at £300,000 a week wages and a value of £70 million, pr probably not going to happen, unfortunately. But still, nevertheless, a nice little goal for him there. Nice to see him play at the Space Park. I'm wondering, did Russo ever play at the Space Park? He must have done. Was he there for the last season of Space Park? I'm not sure how those two kind of events overlap. Either way, he's got a goal here now. Well, he's got two here now, if he never got one previously. And uh, at 3-1, we're just having a bit of fun here, aren't we? It's so nice to see our former players turn up and kind of play. But it's also nice to have players like Bouchard and Smith, who have been at the club so long, that we can do these testimonials, really, to, uh, I guess, give them a, a fitting tribute for their service to the club. And I do like the addition, and, well, I, I don't like it. I love the addition of... A testimonials in Football Manager. I feel like it adds another layer of kind of, I want to say reality to everything, but kind of it, it makes everything more believable, but it also gives you a little bit more, I think, in the way of sentimental value in players, especially when you've got former players who are willing to turn up and uh, play, and you can kind of see how they've done, especially with players like Daniele Russo. Like, he's a player who will probably never, ever play in a Gibraltar Apex shirt again, you know, in a competitive environment. So to even have the opportunity to have him turn up to play a game like this. It's just cool to see. And, um, yeah, you can't complain one little bit. I, I, I've i just realised, I talked about Ludwig Jung being a goal. It's actually Oliveira Felix in goal today. Um, I, I I know why I put him in goal now. The reason I put him in goal was because um, he was, of course, um, 
our goalkeeper for a number of years ago, and I thought it'd be nice to give him a game because he doesn't really start for us that often. But either way, it's 3-1, looking like we're going to go into half-time with the scores um, well, s somewhat separated, although there might be a late chance here. Ball up. Assad wins it. Bouchard to Van Dijk. Russo looking for the hat-trick, let's not forget. Dispossessed there, though. Yal Pedro gives away the ball to Cabaselli. Junior, Gilvan. Up to Cabaselli. Van Dijk. Oh, if he'd put the cherry on top of that move, it would have been such a nice goal. Keeper, though, that time held firm and um, prevented the goal. And, well, I'll tell you what, we can be very happy with our performance there. 3-1. We are loving it. Cannot complain one little bit. It's worth noting, of course, uh, that McMaster, our former man playing centre-back for them today, totally forgot about that. That is, um, That's a minor spoiler for a, for a transfer that's gone through. Of course, you will find out all about that in the kind of standard start of year live com where we talk about all the transfer dealings we've done. I must admit, so far, it's been, it's been a pretty quiet summer for the most part. Maybe some transfers yet to be made, though, because it is still very, very early on in the pre-season here. Either way, we're on the attack. Joe Bouchard, I mean, interesting pass there. Probably could have shot. Decided rather unselfishly to cut it back. Let's keep an eye on him. The number eight. Highlight him. Bouchard. Can he score? He can't. It's saved at the near post. The keeper has been a party pooper. Tuati. Or Tuat. I mean, party pooper. Ru ruining the atmosphere. You're meant to let them go in. It's like when you play football with like uh, younger kids, you know, like at family gets togethers or at a park and you have to go a little bit easier. That's what you should be doing with Joe Bouchard today. You should be letting him have his moment. Bouchard, can he score here? Can he bury it? He can't this time. He's had a few chances this game, it's fair to say. Could have had his hat-trick. Of course, he's, try he's trying to match what Paul Smith did in his game um, in getting, well, two goals at least. There is still plenty of time for him maybe to maybe to do that, maybe to get the hat-trick, although you wouldn't really bank on it, would you, for the centre-attack in mid? But with 60 minutes gone, maybe, maybe we should make some changes. What can we do? Who is anyone struggling for fitness? I feel like we should take off Van Dijk and bring in Mulu for a, a bit of a game. A few players struggling for fitness in the centre of midfield. Uh, I want to avoid injuries if I can, so we'll make a few changes there. And just take off Junior and bring in uh, Volsky, uh, the pole, to do something for us. But no, this, is, this has been a fun episode. It's nice to just get all the players together, play a few games, have a kick about. Uh, and just kind of say thanks to Paul and Joe, really. You know, Paul Smith, Joe Bouchard, two legends at Gibraltar Apex. I feel like over the course of this series, there's been times where people have probably wanted me to sell these two players. And I've seen the comments where someone will write, sell Bouchard, sell Smith, and then someone else says, like, don't sell them, they're literally Apex. And I kind of have to agree with that sentiment. They are pretty much the club at this point. You know, we've got emerging players kind of starting to have an equal, perhaps, part in the club. But these two players, they've been here for 12 years now. They've been here like, from a very early stage. We've developed them. We've given them opportunities. And they've kind of been the two mainstays in this squad kind of throughout this series, especially in the recent years. Of course, we have to tip our head uh, to play, or tip our hats, rather, to players who played a part in this series earlier on. But these two players have really made a real difference in Europe. And it's been cool to see their kind of development from being players who. You know, good enough perhaps to play in the qualifiers of the Champions League to be in players who make appearances in kind of Champions League semi-finals. Either way, Gallardo scored for Benfica there to keep things interesting. I'm not sure if with this testimonial, if it will go to extra time and penalties. I feel like with most testimonials, uh, they sometimes just do penalties at the end. And very often, unlike these games which we've had that have been competitive, you'll often have kind of players in their 50s turn up who have retired from football. I almost wish that that was a f like feature in FM so we could maybe have Peachman... Uh, kind of turn up alongside Ben Connolly and play today. That's That would be kind of a fun little feature, I feel like, if you just had, like, 50-year-old players with absolutely no fitness turn up for testimonials. Because that is part of kind of the whole testimonial experience. Um, and I, I really do enjoy seeing testimonial games. I think they're always good fun, particularly when you perhaps do a Legends v. Current Squad kind of setup. I feel like that would be a cool thing to do in FM if you could somehow set it up whereby... Um, you have a friendly against yourself for a testimonial, but one of the teams is your current squad, and then one of your the other team that you manage is kind of your you know a number of former players who turn up and the player whose testimonial it is. That'd be a cool little feature, I feel like, for FM. But either way, Gilvan whips it in. Can can we score? Russo, he's looking for his hat trick. He's not going to get it. Two minutes left. I feel like the chance is gone. It has gone. Some players struggling for fitness, but we'll leave them on now. Ten seconds left. We're going to win this game. Bouchard going to get one goal. Daniele Russo with two. Just a fun episode, really. And, um, yeah, we, we we win another game. Uh, it's a good performance. I enjoyed it. Joe Bouchard getting a goal and an assist. Cannot complain about that one little bit. And, um, yeah, Bouchard probably should have scored a few more in the end, really. 
But all in all, just a, a really fun episode, this one. Something a little bit different. I know for some people they're not going to be that interested, but for me it felt like a bit of a monumental occasion to kind of celebrate Bouchard and Smith's kind of contributions to the club. I'll quickly flash up their biographies. You can pause it if you want to have a look and uh, kind of have a read at the two player profiles. But 44 competition wins for Joe Bouchard. I assume that Paul Smith will have the exact same trophies because they joined at the same time, which is also kind of fitting. Um, oh, actually, Paul Smith won 42. I guess that means he probably didn't play in like a Pepe Reyes Cup final at some point, and so it doesn't count as him winning it. But either way, he's done well, and he's won a lot of awards, and that's really cool to see as well. But anyway, I want to say thank you to Paul Smith and thank you to Joe Bouchard. If you've got any comments about either of those two players, leave them down in the comments. Uh, I don't know what other players we've got really coming up for uh, testimonials. I feel like a lot of the squad, with the exception of really Bouchard and Smith, is fairly new, you know, kind of within the last four or five years, really. So it's nice to have some mainstays, as I mentioned, in the team. But yeah, that is everything from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying this series so far. Of course, next episode will be episode 138. It will be the start of our kind of normal season, our normal schedule resumes, and it will be the first game of the Champions League group stage for you. So anyway, that is all from me. As I said, thank you for watching. It is me, Jack, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.